Hello guys, welcome to the stream. Back to work, boy. Starved to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? Ten, twelve people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. Baby, we'll find something. Come on, Arthur. Come on, Wait a second. Hold on. I'm your bigger fan. Here. You need something out there. Assorted salt and awful. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look at this game in those hills. I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come on. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? Uh, careful. It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Been a wild few days, all right. That right north, Whitewater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscoll. You've had a lot put on you. I wish, wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back of. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but... It sure weren't good. Uncovered here. Ha! Let's look down this way. Mm. The, the 
winds died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Oh, watch it. There's deer been here. Where the hell is he going? Where is he? Recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. Keep down. I think so. Maybe not. Starved to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? Ten, twelve people? Alright. Let's head out. Ha! Whoa! How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. Out right north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. 
I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but you sure weren't good. Be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. Hope you'd use the bow, but you're a good shot. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Hmm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, well then, we still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. 
Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Easy. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl. She has a wild look in her eye. Of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? <laughs> you ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. Watch out! Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch... You know... Dutch is different. Oh yes. Dutch is certainly different. But... Careful. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. Or never. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. Twenty years, something like that. Since I was a boy. Twenty years? Yeah. <laughs> Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things, and Jose. Huh. I'm sure. Just save me. Save most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. 
He always sees us right. Oh. How's, How's that, that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. Careful. I tried to ride the Count once. Hug me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. What a surprise! Find the camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Yeah, we said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make the legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Lady. It's been a tough few days. It's been a bad few weeks. Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect. so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that oh. hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer that run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not uh, if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride.
good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morikar. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, idiot. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela. Micah Bell, Charles oh. Micah Bell, watch it. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistake. No mistake. Watch out! There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Whoa! Whoa. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Okay, sure. Now just unscrew the wire and then attach it to said It's all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Yeah! 
still okay? Miss some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I step back, fellas. this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> What's your name? We're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay. See if we can get this open. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Ah. Ah. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Fun? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on.
in the middle of nowhere. Now is that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey! Don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles. Born and bred. Just cause it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yep. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while, a number of three men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah. Oh, get on the road. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock now not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. In this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. Now how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but... We kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. 
Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Okay, thank you. survived. But now, now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Gus seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now.
Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you wanna head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Okay. Go check the horses already. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a ride, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe it, honestly. All right. Hop through the trees here and take a left. Yeah. to waste on charity? The fool can get his own horse. I believe you're quite that cold, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm colder than you realize. I feel bad after you rob and kill the bastard. The arrow's on the right. Arthur. You got some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on. Down the end there, near the stables. Old Jack Connor, you left the rock. Hey, it's a leak. Alright! Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, 
What are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respected maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. I imagine Paris and So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then, rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. It's the place, huh? Come on. Afternoon. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. I was something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You look a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf. Here's the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? Huh? I snuck into this fancy house. Acting like a servant girl usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. Right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. We're still in care. I think at the hotel they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They haven't gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? You can go get a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get your hands off her! Who are you? Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk fetter. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers.
paid, I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! I paid for nothing. Waste of my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellas. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Let's go. Back to lazing about again. 
I don't, don't start this. <laughs> Would you like a new camp, Jack? Sure. It's fine. It'll do us for now. Game near. So I'm ending the stream. <laughs>